Attention is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. Next on EA TV. A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts alongside Simon Kerr. It must take the lead here. Keeper getting the touch. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Milan get the game restarted. Can they come up with a coherent answer? And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Read it well. Breaking at pace. Can they take advantage? On Gisa. Di Lorenzo using all his defensive acumen to cut it out well the keeper in position to prevent another goal from him well he's a massive threat that really could have been his second goal there well they fancy a short one good use of advantage there now the cut back Nobotka. Can he take advantage? Well, wide by a hair's breadth. Almost had it where he wanted it. Benassa. And Milan looking dangerous. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. Lorenzi options in the middle well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened he's in here keeper did his job to begin with well, Milan down by a goal and in need of a bit of magic from the corner well just listen to the crowd they know this is a big chance to equalise who's going to get on the end of it a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Well, 
And the timing was perfect. Ball one. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though? So, back underway here, into the second half. Benassa, a very good tackle. Ongisa, and a fine stop. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Davide Calabria. Pulisic. Intercepting it intelligently. Now, what can they produce on the flank? But timely defending when it mattered. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? Di Lorenzo, element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, good run this. Now, what can he do with it? Can he do it? Couldn't grab hold of it. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Giroud. Excellent vision. Given away by Milan. Benassa. A bit wasteful from Milan. Now can they make something happen? And teammates around him. Ozim Hen. And here's Zielinski. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. There will be one minute added on at the end. Milan's possession game needs a bit of work. Really good attacking play. And defensive play to be applauded. And there goes the final whistle, a result Milan fans won't want to dwell upon. A defeat for them, your assessment of the performance. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, he deserved to score the winner today because he was a real handful. He's running off the ball, and awareness of space were excellent. Very impressive.